Thanks a lot, Nuno. Uh, before we close, I would like to invite Professor Talib Küçükcan uh, from uh, Marmara University. He also works as the book review editor of Inside Turkey and also he's the foreign policy studies coordinator with the SETA Foundation. Editor of Inside Turkey and book reviews are placed, placed at the end of the journal, so I am here again asked to be <laughs> the last speaker. So I'll speak very uh, short. Um, Inside Turkey covers domestic and foreign policy issues, as you follow the journal. And we come to the end of our first annual meeting, debating on New Turkey. Uh, actually, we uh, wanted to provide a forum for discussions on issues of common interest and also uh, provide a forum for exchange. And I think the last panel shows that uh, we have successfully provided such an opportunity for lively exchanges on, on different areas. Uh, before you came here, I am sure you had many questions in your mind about what's happening in Turkey. Some of these questions, I believe, uh, were answered, but some, I think, remain still in, in your mind. In the future, hopefully, we will uh, try to uh, find an opportunity to dis discuss all the problems that you have in your mind. We had 11 speakers today. I think they have addressed many questions. Uh, they have done their uh, jobs excellently and perfectly. Uh, due to time limits, we were not able to address a number of important questions, such as the energy, uh, economic developments in Turkey, the opposition parties and their policies, and the development of civil society. On the foreign policy front, we did not touch upon Russian uh, Turkish relations and Turkey's presence in Africa, for example. Uh, so I think uh, in, in the coming conferences, we will touch upon these issues. I think the speakers here uh, successfully contextualized what's happening in Turkey in terms of social, uh, cultural, economic, as well as political transformations and they have talked about the directions, because when you talk about changes and transformations in Turkey, the first question that comes to my, people's mind is what directions these changes are uh, taking to. And also about the players and agencies, uh, I think the panelists have successfully uh, uh, pointed out uh, the positions uh, in my mind. Uh, and what we see is that I think um, there is a change in Turkey, and. This change uh, should be understood within the parameters of diversity, uh, pluralism, desecretization, uh, and also establishing a balance between civil-military relations uh, in current Turkey. Uh, several concepts, uh, I think, are quite important to uh, be aware of, like transparency, accountability, and political participation in Turkey on an equal foot. These are uh, some of the new developments in Turkey. Whether the changes in Turkey are complete or not, of course the answer is no. The changes are not complete, as we have just seen here. Uh, we need to have uh, constitutional changes, we need to have lots of debates on foreign policy issues, and we should move beyond the conspiracy theories as far as Turkish-American relations are concerned. These are the things that I, have, I think we have learned uh, from our speakers. And there is one more thing that we should underline, which is the fact that the foreign policies cannot be divorced from domestic political uh, developments. And therefore, Turkish public opinion is strongly influencing what's going on in the area of foreign policy issues. I think Omar has successfully alluded to this uh, point. Therefore, in order to understand Turkish foreign policy, one should understand what's going on in the Turkish uh, uh, domestic uh, politics. Therefore, we included the first section on Turkish domestic politics, then we moved on to the foreign policy issues. I think uh, Inside Turkey will continue to uh, inform uh, policymakers, uh, experts, uh, and academics. We would like to uh, thank to those who made this conference possible. First, SETA Ankara, and more importantly, SETA Washington. Everybody who uh, put input uh, in this conference. And also, we would like to thank our panelists from morning and afternoon. And of course, to you for coming over here and uh, raising questions and challenging the uh, panelists, and also to our readers as well. First again, hopefully we will see you next time. Thanks a lot.